Adam Phillips old school fragrance review. What are the odds that you would see somebody in 2024 revering this classic from the past? Jovan Musk Oil for Men. All of us fragrance aficionados have that one cheapie from back in the day that made us fall in love with fragrances. And for me, this one is definitely it. This fragrance, you don't even need a note breakdown. It smells like musk. <laughs> sexy, sexy, charismatic, invigorating musk. This was popular late 70s, early 80s. And if you are old school, over 50 years old or 55 years old, you remember this baby. This was the one you would wear if you were going to the disco, going to a house party, going to a cookout, going to school. This was the one, even if you were somewhat of an unofficial fragrance snob, this is the one guilty pleasure, cheapy, affordable drugstore, Genovese, I don't even know if they had Rite Aid or Dwayne read back in 1980, 1979, but this was the one that you wore and didn't care that it was very inexpensive. Jovan Musk Oil for Men. It was so sexy, still is. Even in 2024, this was the great one. Now there are other cheapies that I know are popular with some people, even as fragrance uh, aficionados like Old Spice. Old Spice is decent. It's that fragrance that your father used to wear, guys. That maybe you would wear it also before you knew any better. Or if you smelled Old Spice today, it would remind you of your childhood and your father. And so on and so forth. Or your older brother or your uncle. Along with High Karate and Aqua Velva and, and so forth. Canoe. <laughs> but this one. This baby here was sexy, affordable, and if you had the one with the musk oil and the white letters on the side of the bottle, you were great. This fragrance, Javon Musk Oil, was popular during the height of the disco era. When this fragrance was out, everybody was dancing to Le Freak by Chic, or Good Times by Chic, or Push Push in the Bush by Music, just to name a few. Hot Shot by Karen Young. Turn the Beat Around, Vicky Sue Robinson. You were wearing this here. Love Hangover, Diana Ross. Upside Down, Diana Ross. This is what you were wearing, men, 55 and over, 50 and over. This was the classic that you would rock with Jordache jeans or a pair of pro kids or a pair of Converse, or a terry cloth shirt, or a mock neck, or AJ's, Gabardine, Six Pockets, Taylor's, Sassoon's, British Walkers, a Kango, whatever your style was, this was from that era. This was from the era when guys would go on a date, they didn't have a whole lot of money. This is the one you would have, fellas, one step up before you could afford your first bottle back in the day of Pierre Cardin. <laughs> Which smelled good back then, but now you smell it, you're like, whoa, that's strong. This is the one you would rock, the one cheapy, affordable one, before you graduated to Aramis, or the original Polo Cologne, or Halston Z14, or Halston 112, before you rocked any of Paco Raban, gray flannel, this was the one at the house parties while Parliament Flashlight was playing. Everybody's got a little light under the sun, under the sun, under the sun. This is what you were wearing. And the girls weren't judgmental or materialistic or bougie. They smelled this on you. You were 16 or 18 or 17 or 19. All they said was, ooh, you smell good didn't care if it was expensive or if you bought it in Macy's or in Bergdorf Goodman. This was one of those elixir chick magnets that was very, very, very affordable. 
and I don't even know if it's on bass notes because it's so basic and so classic. I mean, it's just Musk. Only thing is, it's not just Musk. It is nostalgia and sexiness in the bottle that is representative of late 1970s, early 80 up to 1981, maybe 1982. This is the one guilty, sexy chick magnet. You didn't even wear it so much for the girls. Okay, maybe you did. But you wore it yourself, for yourself, because it's just a nice, macho, sexy smelling, provocative fragrance. Today's nostalgia and memories associated with it, fragrance. Jovan Musk Oil, aftershave and cologne for men. Classic. Trip down memory lane. I hope it brought back some memories for you guys. This is Adam Phillips. Fragrance Review, 47 years later. <laughs> Have a good day.